Well, we got a bit of an unscheduled video here today. Uh, if you've ever woken up and it's cold as snowman and there's no power in your thermostat, here's what you gotta do to hopefully avoid a service call. Now this video is for troubleshooting a smart thermostat that is getting power from the furnace. If you have a battery powered thermostat, check the batteries. It's probably a dead battery. But for the rest of you, the first step is to go down to the furnace and check to make sure the switch is actually turned on. Now, I know it sounds dumb, but it would be even dumber to pay an HVAC guy $100 to come over and flip a switch for you. Step two, check to make sure the furnace circuit has not been tripped. Third, we're gonna look in this little peephole here at the bottom of the furnace and check for a red light. So if the red light is solid, that means the furnace thinks everything's working out okay. So the problem is either in the thermostat or in the wiring between the thermostat and the furnace. If the red light is flashing, count the number of flashes and then look up the error code for your make and model of furnace. If there's no red light at all and you have made sure you the power's on and everything like that, that means you might have a fried board or a bad transformer and you're probably gonna need professional help, but Follow the troubleshooting steps here and just see what else where it takes you before you do that. Now in my case, for the Amanda Distinctions furnace I have, the red light is flashing six times, which can mean one of two things. Either I have a tripped rollout safety switch, which is very bad and probably would result in me selling a kidney to buy a new furnace, or the more likely case, because there's no power going to the thermostat, I just have a blown fuse. So we're really hoping that's the case. The next step is to actually open up the furnace. Now, don't be intimidated. Number one, we know there's no flame in there, so it's not gonna blow up in your face or anything like that. It wouldn't blow up in your face anyways. And number two, it's really easy. It's just four screws. So first, we'll take the top panel off, and I'm gonna check to see if the rollout safety switches are popped. They're right here and here, so you can reset them by pressing on them with your finger. Fortunately, mine are not tripped, so I do get to keep my kidney. Maybe. So now we're gonna open up the bottom panel with two more screws. When you open up the bottom panel, it has a little safety switch right here that will automatically shut off the power when this panel's open, but it's still a good idea to turn off power before you open up this panel anyways. So based on my error code, I am looking for a fuse, which is right here. Before touching the circuit board, ground yourself by touching the metal furnace casing. Then you can reach in and pull out the fuse. And you can see by looking at it, the fuse is definitely blown. And that's actually good news because that's an easy fix, except for the fact that I have to trudge to Home Depot in below zero weather to go buy a fuse. All right, we're back here with our fuse. Now, before you install it, make sure it's the same type as the one you're replacing, but we can just pop it right in where the old one was. Now, fuses generally don't just blow for no reason, right? So you're gonna wanna try to figure out what caused the problem. The most common causes are loose wiring, so be sure to check the wiring before you turn it back on again, make sure everything's tight. Uh, dust and debris can cause a trip, so we're gonna make sure we blow off the circuit board and then give this whole area a good vacuuming before we close it back up. Also, be sure to replace the furnace filter if you haven't done that recently. A power surge can also blow a fuse, so it's possible that happened overnight. Another possible cause is that the blower motor might be drawing too much power, it might be going bad, may need to be replaced, so to test this, before turning the furnace on, remove the thermostat and directly connect the red wire to the green wire. This isolates the blower motor, so when you turn on the furnace, if the fuse blows right away, you'll know it is the blower motor causing that. You can test the other components this way as well. But we have our fix for today, so we'll put the panels back on and our red indicator light is now solid red, meaning the furnace thinks we have solved the problem. Now don't worry if the furnace doesn't fire itself up right away. The thermostat may take a minute or so to reboot, so let's go upstairs and check it out. Aha, mission accomplished. 54 degrees in here, a real tropical paradise. Well, as you can see, the fuse worked for me, thank goodness. But if you still don't have power here after changing the fuse, there are some troubleshooting steps you can still take. First, remove the thermostat from the wall. For an equal B, just pull straight out and it will pop off. Now check that the wiring is correct. I don't know how it would have changed, but you never know. Now, assuming it is correct, if you have a multimeter, you can test if the wires are still intact. So set your multimeter to measure AC voltage and touch the red probe to the red wire and the black probe to any of the other wires. You should get a reading that is close to 24 volts. If you don't, you probably have a situation where you may have a faulty wire. Maybe a mouse chewed on it, maybe your kids are trying to sabotage you, who knows. If you do get a good voltage reading on the multimeter, that means that your thermostat is the culprit. And that's kind of a bummer because they are pretty expensive, but you're gonna have to get that either fixed or replaced. Now, if you do need a new one, these Ecobees are pretty nice and coincidentally available in my affiliate link down below. Oh, and here's one last tip for you. If your wife wakes up and she is freezing and your thermostat is not working, it will not endear you to her or the rest of your family to set up cameras and lights to film yourself solving the problem that she wants fixed right now! Thanks for watching.